Hey guys, what's up? This is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, we're gonna look at comparing two managed web hosting providers. We got SiteGround and WordPress Engine. We're gonna see which one's faster. What do you guys think? Who wins? Let's find out. All right guys, so before we roll up our sleeves and get into the results of the speed test, let's lay out some groundwork here. For SiteGround, I picked their Grow Big plan, which if you look across the board, all of these plans are significantly cheaper and offer a lot more freedoms than all of the plans at WordPress Engine. Over on WordPress Engine, I did the startup plan, which at the time is $30 per month. If you pay annually, you can get that as low as $25 per month. Next up, I did some research and found out that London is a common data center location between SiteGround and WordPress Engine. So that's where I set up a very basic WordPress website on each of the two web hosting providers. They are identical WordPress websites with a single 1500 word blog post that contains three images. And finally, I set up a test server in Paris and ran a series of 100 back-to-back -back page speed tests from Paris to each of the respective data centers over in London. And guys, with the results in, let's look at how each one of these managed WordPress hosts performed. So the first test here was the server response time. Across the 100 page speed tests, SiteGround responded in 11 milliseconds, while WordPress Engine had a time of 17 milliseconds. The next test here is time to first paint. On average, SiteGround responded in 335 milliseconds, while on the other hand, WordPress Engine was 385 milliseconds. And the last test here is page load time. SiteGround won yet again with a time of 453 milliseconds, while on the other hand, WordPress Engine had an average time of 456 milliseconds. Now, guys, honestly, these numbers are very, very close to each other. Just because SiteGround was slightly ahead of WordPress Engine across all tests doesn't necessarily mean it's a better you know, hosting company. So that's why I set up another set of tests. This time, instead of the test server being in Paris, I moved it outside of Europe down to Miami within the United States. I then ran the same series of 100 back-to-back -back page speed tests from Miami to each of the respective data centers back in London. And let's look at the test results for this set of tests. SiteGround had a server response time on average across the 100 tests, 101 milliseconds. On the other hand, WordPress Engine had a server response time of 104 milliseconds. Next test here is the time to first paint. 686 milliseconds on average for SiteGround, which again beat out WordPress Engine with a average time of 691 milliseconds. And finally, last but not least, page load time, 1.227 seconds for SiteGround, and WordPress Engine had 1.211 seconds. Now guys, when you look at all the test results across all six tests that we performed here, the last one from Miami to London was the only test that WordPress Engine was able to beat out SiteGround. And you know, the thing is, across all tests, the test results were very, very close to each other, you know, within like, a dozen milliseconds or so at most, even closer than that for a lot of the tests. But this is a tough one because, you know, um, test results wise, they are performing pretty identical. But when you look at the things such as the cost of the hosting, actually, that we looked at in the beginning of this video, SiteGround has a huge advantage as being one of the cheaper options when it comes to managed WordPress hosting. So I think for that reason alone, especially for people who are just, you know, getting started with WordPress hosting and all that stuff who don't really have hundreds and thousands and millions of people visiting their website every month, SiteGround seems to be a perfect fit. It's a good combination of cost and, um, you know, efficiency, optimization, their, their pages load very quickly compared to, you know, a premium managed WordPress host like WordPress Engine. So in this case, I'm gonna go with SiteGround for this. If you guys have any questions about the tests, the test results, or WordPress managed hosting in general, let me know in the comments below. This has been Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.